Today we are making teriyaki sauce with pantry staples and that way you can make it soy free and allergy friendly if those are things that you need for your family like us. So the main ingredient that you're going to need is coconut aminos. This is a soy replacement. So this is what we're going to use. And then I have arrowroot powder. You can use arrowroot or cornstarch, whatever you have and honey and then brown sugar. This is regular store-bought brown sugar, but I'm also diabetic so oftentimes I I will make my own brown sugar, which you can do with monk fruit and molasses. And we will link that video in the description if you're interested in learning how to make your own brown sugar with regular sugar or with monk fruit. We're also gonna be using ginger. I just throw these whole in my freezer and I can use them from the frozen state right into my recipe. And we have three large garlic cloves. All of the ingredients except the cornstarch or arrowroot, whatever you use, go into the pan make sure that you take a tablespoon of the arrowroot and put it in a quarter cup of cool water and blend it up and then pour it into the pan or you will end up with a clumpy mess so all of these ingredients will get measured out and they're going to go into a pan we are going to be able to cook this really quickly and it will stay shelf stable in the refrigerator for up to a week once this is cool we would put a lid on this and put it in the refrigerator and it's going to stay fresh up to a week but i love that i can control how much sugar is in it and that i can make it soy free and allergy friendly for my family if you like this video make sure to hit subscribe at the cross legacy